Hey guys, it's Roland with Borealis Bushcraft. Just uh, finished my lunch and noticed down the trail that I'm going to be hiking back. There's two deer, probably about oh 75, 80 meters out. You see them right there. I've been talking, playing with Max. And they're not, they don't have a care in the world right now. So I'm not bugging them. I'm gonna step out onto the trail a little bit. So you can see a little bit better. There they are. Good sized deer too. Now, if I was in a survival situation and I saw that, even with the Ruger, Oh, there's three. Look at this. They got like a community down there. There they go. Even even with the Ruger. That's not entirely an impossible shot. Max is over here. Sorry guys, I'm on Max. We can zoom out. Ooh, I like this. We can zoom out. I haven't tried that with this phone yet. There's our fire. So, as most of you know, in my Ruger, I like to run the CCI Stingers, but I also run the CCI Velocitors, which are 40 grain bullet traveling at approximately 1400 feet a second. So, a little hotter than your regular 22 LR. So, for educational purposes, if you needed to hunt for sustenance in a prolonged situation, it is conceivably possible to take deer with 22 LR. Now, is it going to be 100% ethical? No, it is not. Unless you are close enough that you can take a neck or a headshot. So, that's fairly fairly few and far between but those three deer did not spook even though I'm you know not wearing camel I'm just wearing my wool plaid wool and uh, you can see the type of terrain that we're in right now I was hoping to get a couple of bunnies or something on this trail but I think that weather moved in and kind of shut things down a little bit, which is, you know, unfortunate, but I mean, it's still better than sitting at home on the couch. And yes, we are way out in the bush. So, with that being said, I got my fire going here. It's cooking up really good, nice and gently. The Venture pack. This is primarily my urban bag. This goes with me pretty much everywhere. Um, so there's there's a lot of things in here that are not wilderness oriented. I have my cell phone charger in there. I have my charger for my two-way radio in there. It's essentially the large my larger 511 pack pared down. So instead of when I was working up north, I would have, you know, a six day supply of freeze dried food in there. Well, that's been paired out with, you know, cliff bars because I can pretty much make it home anywhere that I am in the city or basically from work. From work to home is about seven clicks. Um, Pretty much within a day of walking. So I got a liter and a half water and weight savings wise, we are oh let's see if we can zoom this out just a little bit again. Okay, that's maximum. You know, we went away from the stainless steel canteen to a smart water bottle that holds a liter and a half. Still fits in the Pathfinder canteen cup, which is a bonus. Uh, you know, a pair of 
you know, old tack gloves there with the knuckles, you know. Um, in an urban situation, it's nice to have these carbon fiber knuckles on your gloves. Um, one, you know, if you got to go hands-on with somebody, <laughs> uh, they're going to feel that a little bit more, and it's going to protect your knuckles and your hands from getting broken. And hopefully things don't need to go that way, but shit happens. Smoke's kind of in the eyes here. Sorry for the shitty camera work. I wasn't intending on making video today. Got a compass on the outside. My mini kit, in case I have to ditch my pack. Small first aid kit. Spare toque. Spare socks, spare mitts. Hungarian sausage. Right, there's the mitts, some paracord in there. It's nothing, nothing overly crazy. Some shit wipe, some wet ones. You never know if you're in a situation you shit your pants. You might want to wash up. So, I mean, other than that, there's not, not a ton of stuff in here. If I go into this bag. You know what? Let's move this out of the smoke. <sighs> kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. All right, hopefully we see that a little bit better. So, sausage will come out of there. So everything kind of sits in there nice. I've got a down sweater in there underneath in an outdoor research bag. There's just some Imodium in there and an inhaler in case things are shitty. Power bank for my phone, my notepad, pen, Sharpie for writing notes and whatnot, Baofeng UV5R, my Streamlight. One inch roll of Gorilla Tape, a CRKT, M21, which you guys have seen in lots of videos. And the side of the, my Leatherman on the outside of my pack. That's about it. There's not much in here. But, I'll tell you, it still weighs like 20 pounds or so. So, that said, it's important to hike with your stuff. Because if you can't hike with your gear for, I would say, at least the distance it takes you to get from wherever you are to your home, if you're in the city, which is what this was laid out for, um, yeah, that would, uh, that would be a problem. So, um, years and years and years ago, there's, uh, well, you know, I'm not even going to put names out there, but there's been a bunch of guys that have done videos on being bush fit. And you know what? Bush fit translates to urban fit. Translates to higher rates of success in a shitty situation. As most of you have seen another, seen and heard in other videos, I have arthritis in one of my hips, which uh, really plagues me as I get older. But guess what? I'm still out here doing this shit. So don't let your little aches and pains drive you away from doing stuff. Going here. There we go. Nice heat. Now, 
this is not a bad location where I am. If I needed to spend the night, there's tons of resources. There's lots of firewood. There's lots of evergreens for building a quick shelter. There's not a ton of snow on the ground, so I can easily either tamp it down or, or rake it away with my foot. And yeah, pretty, pretty simple to tough out a night out here. So, but that is not gonna be necessary. But yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd kind of show you guys the deer and then I kind of started rambling on. But uh, that's where I'm going to end up going. So hopefully I'll try and get these videos up for you soon. Um, I've shot a few in the past that just didn't turn out, so I'm not even going to bother while they're putting them out. But uh, yeah, anyway, talk to you soon, fellas. Be safe.